Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm at the gym right now. We are about to do a leg day. If you guys are new here, my name is Zoe. If you're returning, welcome back. We do all things fitness, lifestyle, some doggies. I have three doggies, which won't be in this video, but check out some of my other videos with my vlogs and daily life, and you'll see my doggies. Today is going to be a dedicated workout video. We're doing legs today. Just wanted to preface this video a little bit by saying I woke up late today. First of all, it's not a good day so far. Uh, I woke up late, I'm on my period, so I feel just, you know when you're on your period, but I just feel gross, I just feel like bleh, is how you feel when you're on your period. So, that hasn't been helping, my motivation is down, I don't wanna work out, I didn't wanna work out, it's already 12 o'clock, which is way past when I usually work out, because I woke up late, I forgot to set an alarm last night. Basically, everything's lining up for me today to just skip my workout, but I'm here, putting in the work, and we're gonna get it done. And I'm gonna film it for you guys, and I hope that you guys like this workout. I just did 15 minutes on the treadmill to warm up, and then we're gonna do a little bit of hip opening exercises, some glute activation, and then we're gonna get started. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate the support. Please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, it helps me out, and lets you know that you guys like these kind of videos, these workout videos. And last but not least, please don't forget to come check me out on Instagram. Check out my fitness app as well. You guys will really like it. Try out this workout. See if you like my training style. If you like this workout, if you are sore from it, then definitely check out the app because the app is similar to how I train. That's how I set it up and it produces amazing results. So let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with a voiceover. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a voiceover, but I know that you guys find that these are most beneficial and I agree with you. I think it's better for me to just talk rather than um, give text pointers throughout the video. So if you guys like the voiceovers, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know below if you prefer voiceovers or no voiceovers or just music. Uh, let me know. So we are starting off with some hip opening exercises. I did post these on my Instagram if you'd like to go check that out. Um, but, but yeah, basically see, these are some of the hip exercises. Uh, the hip opening exercises I do. I was a runner for a very long time, seven to eight years, so my hips tend to be pretty tight, as I feel like a lot of people mostly have tighter, tighter hips. Um, so these are just some of the exercises that I add into my warm up. Before this, I did do about 10 minutes on the Stairmaster, either do the Stairmaster or the treadmill on incline, just something to get those muscles nice and warm. So after I do a few stretches and hip opening exercises, I move straight into glute activation with my band right here, which guys, I might be coming out with my own bands. Please stay tuned for that. But anyway, so I have hip circle band. I'm just doing some side to side lateral steps. These are just, I kind of rotate the different glute activation exercises I do. Here we have the three, four squat. This is honestly one of my favorites. I even do this in my actual workouts. A lot of the glute activation exercises I actually do in my workouts, um, just to get a little extra booty pump you know what I'm saying so we're gonna move into our workout I'm gonna start off I always just start off with the bar just to get a good feel for how my squats are gonna go for the day um, just to get the muscles nice and warm after my hips are nice and open it just feels really good to just squat the bar get things moving get things flowing So guys, for this leg day, I wanted to actually do most of it barefoot. Um, I just am in socks, as you can see by the video, uh, because I just feel like sometimes it's more beneficial. I do wear Converse, but anything with a flatter base is just going to feel better for you, and it just feels great, honestly, sometimes to squat in no shoes, but I know a lot of people go to public gyms, so you kind of have to wear shoes, but Converse I would recommend the most. Anyway, back to the workout. That was such a sidetrack. So we're starting off with 10 sets of 10 squats, which I know sounds kind of crazy, but I've really been focusing on volume lately and just getting more volume in general. I just used to train legs so much harder, I feel like, and I'm just not seeing the results that I want to see. So volume it is. We're doing lots of squats. Um, I do like to start off with squats just because squats are just a super beneficial exercise. Um, and I just love them. I know there's been a lot of hate on them recently, like you don't need squats. Yeah, you don't really need squats, but I just feel like it's such an exercise that strengthens everything else. And yeah, so we're doing 10 sets of 10. Um, I increased the weight every single set. As you can see, it just got heavier and heavier. This is my top set at 165, nope, 155. And yeah, then we're gonna move into the next super set. All right, guys, moving into our first superset, we're going to start off with some RDLs with an easy bar. You can also use a regular barbell if you prefer. I just think the easy bars are easier. 
Uh, that was not a pun. But basically, your knees are going to be slightly bent the entire time. You're going to keep that back nice and straight. Keep that barbell as close to your shins as possible. That's just going to allow more tension in your hamstrings and really focus on just pulling up with your hamstrings and really thinking about them when you're actually doing this exercise. So moving into our next exercise for the superset so you're going to do these back to back and then rest the whole workout will be listed below in the description box for you guys but we have some diagonal band walks so my hip circle band is going to be placed right above my knees for this you're almost going to be making little diamonds with your feet staying in that squat position the entire time and really stepping out as far as you can this exercise burns like no other i love it it's the best highly recommend it for everyone All right, guys, moving into our next super set, we're going to start off with some sumo dumbbell squats. Now, for this, I use a super heavy dumbbell. I think this is like 80 or 90 pounds. Um, you really want to focus on getting the right position with your legs, making sure that you're wide enough that your hips are not hurting, um, but wide enough that your glutes are burning because this exercise burns. You can use the pulses like I did that's more challenging if you just want to do the regular version that is okay focus on pushing those knees out the entire time and then we're going to superset that with some walking overhead lunges these I've just love because it's more of a core workout and arm workout than a leg workout and just gets the cardio going I just feel like it's such a great move I feel like I've been doing these every single leg day uh, I'm holding I think a 25 pound bumper plate I want to try something heavier but I'm also terrified your shoulders start to burn your core starts to burn obviously your quads and your glutes are already burning it's just a great exercise and I'm a big fan All right, guys, moving into our last exercise slash superset, not really a superset, but I'm doing some hip thrusts on the Smith machine. I know I don't usually do it on the Smith machine. I just kind of want to change it up sometimes. So I have the hip circle band around my knees here, as you can see. So what we're doing here is we're just doing a regular hip thrust. We're going to be doing some split right after this, which is just when you're put one foot forward. Basically, here we go. So you're going to put one heel on the ground and then the other one a little bit farther back it really just focuses on that one glute so I do 10 reps of regular then five reps of one leg and five reps on the other leg I don't really think this is my favorite way to do hip thrusts I'm kind of experimenting with different ways I still really like the Maya reps if you guys don't know what Maya reps are I'm actually I think about to do them right after this um, but basically that is just the one thing that I feel is most beneficial also I ended these with some hip abductions which I pretty much always add into my hip thrust now just to get that extra burn and it just feels so great and hurts my face is not even an exaggeration it just is so painful but yeah so we're gonna move into my reps if you guys don't know what my reps are it's just you're gonna do 10 reps you're gonna rest for five to ten seconds take usually about five breaths and then rest here I'm gonna rest with the hip abductions because I'm a crazy psycho but you don't have to rest with those um, it just makes it a hell of a lot more challenging so hope you guys like this workout it'll be below in the description box for you please come check out the app if you need a solid workout routine i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye